Here with Blaze coach Danny Stewart after the dramatic 2-1 victory against the clan. Uh, Danny, that was a, a bit of magic from Ben Lake to seal it. Yeah, no, absolutely. And sometimes you need those special plays. And, um, you know, let's not forget the pass that Nicky made. You know, we, uh, we'd put him under pressure all night long and, you know, pucks just weren't dropping for us and, you know, create a lot of second chances and just seemed if it was on, we were on the wrong side of second pucks all night long and we just couldn't find any breaks. And um, in those games, you know, I just kept saying to them, stick with it, guys, stick with it. And, you know, I thought our, our PP played, you know, I thought th we were moving the puck better than we had all year and we just weren't fine in the back of the net. And it's difficult to stick with it sometimes, but I give these guys credit. They did and good gutsy win. And like I said, you know, Nikki makes a special play there to, to, f to help us find the back of the net and we tie that up and then another special play by Laker to, to seal it. A lot of it was their netminder. He stood in his head. He just seemed to see every shot tonight, didn't he? Yeah, I know he played well. He played well, and you know Miro on our side played well when he when he had it. I, but I think we, I think we probably defended as well as we have all year. Didn't really give him much, and you know they got to a second puck there on their power play goal. But uh, you know it was a great performance, and you know what I think in the end there the the guys got what they deserved. They 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 thoroughly deserved the two points. Was that part of the message to the team tonight? We have a new goalie. He's only had one uh, skating session with us. Let's try and give him as much protection as we can tonight. Nothing risky. Well, I mean, I, I, I don't think we necessarily, you know, changed any part of our game. We just, you know, we, you know, we emphasized defending well. And, you know, that's something you always want to do and, and get better as the season goes on. And, you know, we're, we're five, six weeks in now, and that's an area where you should be doing better. And, um, you know, we want to stay five on five. I know they're missing a body or two over there. And, um, you know, we wanted to play in their zone a lot, get a lot of zone time and, and try wear them down and I think we did that at the end and um, you know it was only a matter of time before we got one and you know thankfully we did. A one goal hockey game like that throughout it, it just shows the importance of playing for 60 minutes doesn't it and that's something you always say. Yeah and um, you know like I said before you know you can it's easy to get away from what you do and uh, you know when the pucks aren't dropping guys try to do a little bit extra and try and find that that play and um, try to create something out of nothing and you start turning pucks over and you end up two nothing three nothing down and, and then the game's over so um, we did that a little bit in the second period towards the end there we turned a few pucks over and they got a couple good looks but um, you know we got back to it in the third and you know again a couple good plays you know helped us win a game. We talked about the net minding, but defensively, we were, and you said we were really switched on against a team that score a lot of goals in the other kind. They've got guys like Scott Pitt, Becker, who know where the net is. So you must be really pleased with how we protected the key areas. Yeah, like I said, we defended as well as we've had all year, and um, and you got to you got to in, in games like that. You know, certainly against uh, you know guys like that, like that you just mentioned, they're they're good skilled players that have been scoring in this league a long time, and um, they're a talented bunch. So um, you know, I'm really happy with our performance. It's the Steelers tomorrow's uh, game two of the homestand. They've been shaking things up this week. Some strong words from Tomo midweek. Um, do we think we're going to see a rejuvenated Steelers side tonight, tomorrow night? Uh, listen, at the end of the day, Tom was a great coach, right? He's uh, He's been in this league a long time. He knows what it takes to win. So, you know, I, I imagine at some point he's going to turn those guys around and um, looks like they got one tonight. So, um, you know, <laughs> we're in no position to take any teams in this league lightly. You know, this, this is a tough league and any team can win on any given night. Uh, um, so, you know, we will regroup tonight and, and look ahead to them tomorrow. Thank you, Danny. Yep.